there, Matt and Sam. This is Gus Kavanaugh. Listen, I came to your new page and I wanted to share some kind of cold feedback on it. I thought that might be useful. I'm, you know, I'm impressed you guys have been, I know you've been working on the product for a while. It looks like you've rolled out a new web page. Um, some parts I love and I have a few pieces of criticism that I, I hope you'll, well, or do whatever the hell you want with them. It's totally your choice. I'm just a random guy on the internet, right? Um, but first thing, data-driven interviewing is here. Okay. Interviews are the most important workplace conversation you'll ever have, ready to get serious about them. You know, in my mind, the first thing I thought was burn. Like, ooh, who is the buyer? And are, did we just insult them with this opening line? Um, and as I scroll down, I love some of this stuff here, right? Ansaro turns your team into interviewing all-stars, structure interviews according to best practices, share detailed interview feedback, make holistic data-driven hiring decisions. Um, so in my mind, you have nice pillars here, structure, share, decide, you know, th these things kind of make sense as the core of what you're doing. Your team gets turned into interviewing all stars. Um, but as I scroll down and I look at who these, you know, you've got some great, you know, um, customer testimonials here. These are all VPs of HR or HR professionals. And I, in my mind, and I, I, your customer interviews may have, may have suggested differently, but my guess is those people already view themselves as serious about hiring. They're not data-driven, right? You know that they're not using any of the data they're collecting, and that's the huge opportunity. They're not instrumented at all. It's just, well, I posted the job on LinkedIn. I went to Monster and blah, 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 and you know, I like so-and-so's resume. Um, but I think they would view themselves as very serious about this. So I would, I would kind of caution right off the start, like, I don't think ready to get serious about it is maybe that's the message to a CEO. But to a VP of HR, I, I think that might that might risk offending them. Um, and as I switch over, I usually find the careers page and the about page of companies has the best kind of quick summary of what you do. And in my mind, you guys nail it here, right? So this is under, you're building amazing tech to solve tough problems that matter, of course. Um, but you apply machine learning to workforce data your customers already collect but have never tapped before allowing them to identify new patterns and reduce biases in hiring, right? In addition to the fact that you're going to help them save a ton of money and be a much better company because now they're hiring the right people. They're reducing turnover. This is a, you know, there's there's a strong financial incentive for them to want to get hiring right. In my mind, you you walk through the pain points here. You'd say, you'd say something like, as you've done here, you have all this data that you've never, that you've collected, but you're not doing anything with, and it's costing you a lot of money. You don't, your supply chain is instrumented. Every other aspect of your business is going to be instrumented. You're going to be doing some sort of analytics. And now you're probably getting into predictive analytics. You're using machine learning. You are doing none of this for your with your HR data. And this is so important because hiring is the most important part of your company or something like that, right? You know, secondary to sales. Um, and so then when I came over to the product page, I like this make smart hiring decisions or making smart hiring decisions has never been easier. Great. Okay. You know, what is this? How does it work? And I see like, you know, it's, it's a little spaced out, but I'm not really an aesthetics guy. Structured interview you're telling me, okay, we we need to do structured interviews. Um, you, the, you know, we you can't you can't improve what you don't measure. Is this a product though, or is this a consulting offering? Um, diversity is important. Okay, I, you know what what is it? Like, I, I need something like a screenshot. I need um, is what's the vehicle from which these things occur? And then is this something that you do? Is it something that you're going to help me do? I'm not. Um, I, I haven't I haven't really learned much about your actual product at this point. I just ha feel like I'm getting some guides. I could this could almost be an article in uh, in Forbes or something or in Harvard Business Review on how to improve hiring. Well, make sure you use structured interviews. Uh, make sure you're measuring so you can judge the quality of a hire. You know, be on the lookout for any internal biases or things so that you are getting the most diverse candidates. And then overall, you know, have this instrument and have the analytics. But I'm I'm not seeing a product here. So anyway, I think uh, just in to, again to quickly summarize. I love this. You're applying machine learning to workforce data that you already have. So it's like, hello, Mrs. VP of HR, Mr. VP of HR. You have all this amazing data. You're not using it. We're going to solve that problem for you. You should bring us in to try this out. And the benefits to you are you're going to be able to have more, your, your turnover is going to go, you're higher, better people, lower turnover. You will reduce bias and have higher diversity. So you're hitting multiple goals that in the board meeting, when they sit down at the, at the end of the quarter and they're going to say, you know, first thing is like, did we hit our numbers? You know, then, okay, great. What was our attrition? And then how are we doing on our diversity metrics? You're like, those two are going to be solved for you. We're going to take care of that. And at the very least, they can say, well, you know what? We partnered with this this new uh, up and coming AI startup, and they're helping us use the most cutting edge techniques to improve in these areas. That kind of message is going to go a long way. That, in my mind, would be worth a lot of money to them. Um, anyway, uh, sorry to bother you guys on a, a Father's Day here, um, but hope you all are doing well. And again, congratulations on rolling this new stuff out. Um, you know, best of luck to you all in the future.